Good morning. My name is Clint Wolf, and I appreciate all of you coming to our capstone event and giving us the opportunity to present our projects. My project is an indoor environment monitor. This system will measure dust and particulates, air toxins, and temperature. While the system could be installed in, in a warehouse, maybe sheds, um, I chose to install it in a garage as I had one available, and many of the air toxins, air particulates, can be found in this environment. And now the work begins. Wires need to be run from the power source to the area the unit will be placed. This means drilling a hole in the roof to access the power wires between the solar panels and the fan that they drive. Soldering a few of the components needed, verifying with a continuity tester that the soldered connections were good, pre-wiring all the components together, then writing the actual program in C++ using Visual Studio Code IDE, and finding a suitable location on one of the garage walls. The project makes use of three different sensors. The first one is a dust particulate sensor. Held upright, this sensor relies on dust and other particulates to pass through its field of vision. Although an embedded fan might work, it may not be as reliable in the long run. This sensor makes use of an onboard heater to draw air through the lower vent, through its field of vision, and out the upper vent. The second sensor used is an air quality sensor. This unit measures a number of airborne toxins such as alcohol, acetate, carbon monoxide, and formaldehyde. While it measures a number of toxins that cannot differentiate between them, it returns a general reading that represents the level of air toxins present. Sensor orientation isn't an issue with this unit, but it does have one requirement. As on the prior device, the sensor has an onboard heating element. This is used to cleanse the sensor. This cleansing process can take more than 30 minutes between uses should the unit be powered down for any reason. The last sensor used is a temperature sensor and it's about the size of a thumbnail. Although this unit measures temperature, humidity, and air pressure, only the temperature reading is used in this system. The system layout had two requirements. One, the OLED screen must be visible to the user and the temperature sensor need to be placed away from the other two sensors with onboard heaters. The unit was installed on the garage wall at about six feet above ground level. When one or more of the sensors detects a less than favorable air quality reading, the system activates a relay. This relay takes a low voltage signal from the microcontroller and completes a higher power capable circuit. In this case, I've chosen to have the relay complete the power circuit to a roof mounted solar powered fan. So now we have a system that reads the air temp and quality and turns on a fan to remedy any issue it finds. But where does the data go? Although the unit has a small OLED TV screen for on-site readings, it was more effective to have the data sent wirelessly to a base station router that then communicates with a third-party dashboard platform called Adafruit.io. Using any browser on an internet-enabled computer, a user would be able to view the data displayed in graph form. I appreciate each of you taking the time out of your schedules today to allow me to present my capstone project. Are there any questions?